Hello everyone, my name is Dipendra and I welcome you all on the behalf of Creative Edge. Well, in this video of aptitude, we will discuss a topic, simple interest. Well, when it comes to simple interest, you need to understand there are three important parameters which you need to understand quite clearly. For example, whenever a certain amount is either borrowed, lent, credited, debited or invested, some sort of these terms when are used in a question related to simple interest, you need to understand that this money is going to be considered the principal amount. Okay. Well, whenever this amount is, you know, lent or borrowed, this money is always given at a certain rate of interest. Generally, if it is not mentioned, it is this rate of interest should be considered yearly. So this rate of interest is considered per annum. Okay, so that rate of interest in our language is going to be denoted by capital R. Well, there is third more or one more entity, which is the third entity, which is called for how much time, for what duration are you giving or allotting someone some amount of money, right? You're applying a certain rate of interest, you're giving a certain amount of money, but for how long? Well, that term is called time. Well, you must have studied a formula or a standard formula in your childhood regarding calculating simple interest. Simple interest is always calculated as principal into rate into time divided by 100. Well, that understanding of simple interest is what I'm going to break here. Instead of using that formula, obviously that formula has been taught to you in your childhood when you were not aware of this, when you were not very clearly aware of this concept. But now when your brain is very well developed, you can understand the functionality of simple interest. Now, first of all, let's understand what is the meaning of rate here in the context of simple interest. For example, whenever someone says that I'm giving you a loan at a rate of interest 8.33% per annum. Now, what is the meaning of 8.33%? Well, 8.33, I hope you remember from the session of percentages, you must have learned the fraction to percentage and percentage to fraction conversions of numbers. For example, whenever you are dealing with something known as 8.33 in another language in terms of fractions, this is equivalent to 1 by 12. Now, what is the relevance or significance of 1 by 12? We need to understand this. The rate of interest, which is 8.33 per annum in other language can be treated like this. If you consider 12 to be principal on ratio scale, so if you imagine had somebody allotting or is someone, if someone is allotting 12 as an amount or as a principal to someone after one year or in a year, in a year, he'll be able to generate one rupee as a simple interest. I repeat my statement, the significance of rate of interest, which for example, in this question is given is 8.33%. So the significance of 8.33% is going to be 1 by 12 in terms of fractions. So 12 means the principal and 1 means the interest. The denominator, the base is going to be the principal. And on 12, if you apply 8.33 percentage rate of interest, you'll be earning 1 rupee after one year. And you need to understand the functionality of simple interest. It's so simple that each year the simple interest remains same. This simply means if the principal 12 is given to someone after one year, he's supposed to return you 12 plus 1, 13 rupees. Why 13? Because 1 is going to be the simple interest on this 12. Although you need to realize this all is happening on ratio scale. Well, similarly, in the second year as well, the interest would be remain, interest would remain same because in simple interest works same every year. So on this 12 again, when you apply 8.33 rate of interest, this is going to generate one another year. So this is simple. For as many years you are taking this interest, this interest will get that's the, that many years times it get multiplied by the number of years and that's how that formula got generated p into r into t divided by 100 i would still urge that you try and use this method which we are trying to teach you for example let's take a question and let's understand it better through one example i hope on the screen you all must be able to see a question right there let's try and solve and let's understand the functionality of simple interest in a more clearer manner please understand in this question, what are we told that Sagar borrows 50,000 from a bank for five years? You need to understand this. Although this question can be done through the formula in fractions of seconds, but I'm just wanting you to understand that how should you interpret simple interest? Because once you have understood this concept, you will be able to solve a lot of complicated problems within seconds. If you understand that, how does it behave? If you understand this, right? Please understand. So Sagar has borrowed 50,000 from a bank for five years. What is the rate of interest? 
or rate of simple interest charged by the bank if after five years Sagar had to pay rupees sixty six thousand in the bank. Obviously, formula me value rakhe, answer nikali. Bilkul aap aisa kar sakte hain. But apart from that, what you would have thought is, please understand, if the principal happens to be fifty thousand, and after five years, what you have to, what Sagar had to return was sixty six thousand. Can I say that difference must be nothing but the simple interest generated in these five years? So the simple interest generated in these five years would have been nothing but the additional amount which he is supposed to pay. So 50,000, 66,000. Shall I conclude that he is supposed to pay or the extra amount he is paying is 16,000. Well, this is the simple interest which he has to pay of these five years. Well, we have just understood this functionality that simple interest remains same throughout all these years. So every year, each year, simple interest remains same. Which simply means, agar total paanch saalo ka simple interest amounts to be 16,000. For one year, the simple interest would be 16,000 divided by 5. Because each year, the simple interest remains same. So each year, the same simple interest kept on accumulating. And when it got accumulated, this total amount of 5 years, the total simple interest of 5 years accounted for 16,000. Well, when you wish to divide 16,000 by 5, I'm just going to evaluate the simple interest of one year. Okay. Generally, what I do is, let me just share this one of the approaches with you. When I, obviously, this is again a very simple thing, which you could have all thought of. But again, just a very, you know, nuanced thought I'm trying to give you here. When someone divides or when whenever you want to divide something by 5, instead of dividing it by, by 5, could you do this? I hope this does not make much of the difference, but this makes the calculation a little easier, a little easier, definitely. So 16,000, when you want to divide it by five, instead of doing this, what you can do is you can divide it by 10 and you can double it. So always remember this, whenever you wish to divide a number of five, you simply divide it by 10 and multiply it by two. That will make the calculation look a little easier. Although that will not create a huge change, but this will be a small change in your habits. So what is going to happen here? This zero gets cancelled by this zero and 1600 when doubled results into 3200. Please understand, this is what not you need to write here. This is just, I have written here to make you understand it better. What you would have done is you could have simply imagined it, right? So you could have done it verbally as well. 16,000 divided by five, which means divided by 10, double it. This is how you should do it mentally, okay? So simple interest earned in one year is 3200. Now, please understand. What is the rate of interest? Rate of interest is nothing but simple interest is what percentage of principal simple interest of one year is whatever percentage of the principal that thing is called the rate if you are still not able to understand what i'm trying to communicate here what i'm trying to convey here is simple interest was how much of one year was clearly 3200 and the principal was 50000 so what is the rate of interest rate of interest is always that sir, Joby simple interest aapne earn kiya hai ek saal mein, that number is what percentage of the original or the actual principal. If you are able to evaluate it, you can easily crack how much is it going to be. Obviously, to understand or to convert it into percentage, you could have done this as well. When you want to simplify this, I think these two zeros are getting cancelled by these two zeros. These two zeros are getting cancelled by these two zeros. Well, again, when you wish to simplify it, again, the same process comes into picture. 32, when you want to divide it by 5, what you can do is you can divide 32 by 10, 32 by 10, and you can double it. So 32 when divided by 10 results into 3.2. And when you double 3.2, 3.2 becomes 6.4. So the rate of interest which was applied in this question was 6.4. I am totally understanding this that you could have done it in a more simpler manner through using the basic formula. I just wanted to teach you the functionality of simple interest and that's why I have done it differently. More importantly, I wanted to tell you how are these things calculated? How do they behave? You know, what is the nature? What is the application of all these values, principal, rate, and time. That's why I have done it in a little different manner to make you understand the basic functionality of simple interest. Well, if this concept is making some sense in your brain, let's try another question and let's understand simple interest in a better manner. For example, let's say here we are given another question. Again, an interesting question. This will give, again give you a lot of insights. Please pay attention everyone. After how many years would an amount double itself at 15% rate of simple interest. Well, if you have attended or watched a video on percentages, you must have learned that we had learned percentage to fraction conversions in that video. Well, if you haven't, 
kindly go and watch that video as well. Well, if you are asked to convert 15% into fraction, why am I asking you to do it? You'll realize it very soon. 15%, instead of converting 15%, can I convert 5% into fractions? We have learned that 5% is always 1 by 20. And we are clearly seeing that 15% is triple of 5%, which simply means 15% is going to be 3 by 20. Well, if you are not able to understand it in this manner, what you could have also done is you could have simply divided 15 by 100. And when you want to simplify this, 5 by 3 times is 15 and 5 by 2 times 10. So this is 3 by 20. This is also how you can convert a percentage into fraction. Well, if you have converted 15% into its fraction form, we have just learned whenever you are able to convert a percentage or basically in the context of simple interest, rate of interest into its equivalent fraction form, what does the denominator say? The denominator means it is principal and the numerator means it is the interest. Similarly here as well, if we are able to convert this 15%, which is the rate of simple interest, then here in this scenario, this 20 can be assumed as the principal and this 3 can be assumed as the interest earned in one year. I hope you are realizing that, which simply means, please understand, if you are investing 20 rupee, after one year, you are supposed to get 3 rupees as an interest. Now let's understand this question. What have we asked? After how many years would an amount double itself at 15% rate of interest? Now you need to understand, when is my money going to be considered doubled? You need to understand, let's say if you are investing rupees 100. So when this 100 is converted into 200, now when 200 is what you are getting in return, now what would that 200 consist of? That 200 will have 100 as the principal and that remaining 100 is going to be the interest. Which simply means, if you invest 100 rupees, then you will double your money when you invest 100 rupees on 100 as an interest to generate. Karte ho. I hope this language is clearly understood by everyone. Which means, please understand, if you are investing 20 rupees in a scheme which is offering you 15% rate of interest, which means 15% return each year. So after how many years will you consider your money doubled? We have just calculated it that on ratio scale, if you are investing 20, after one year, the interest which you are going to generate is going to be 3. So in how many years will you be able to generate the total interest equal to this principle? In those many years, your principle is going to be considered doubled. So I need to double my money, which is going to be. So basically, in a simpler language, I need to generate as much interest, which is equal to the principle, right? So interest. Ek saal mein, which I'm able to generate is 3. So let's say in n years, I'm going to generate 20 rupees. So in how many years I'm going to get the money doubled, that is going to be 20 divided by 3. This is somewhere around 6 point something. What does it mean that, sir, after 6 years, not exactly after 6 years, because this is 6 point something. So sir, minimum, minimum 7 years are going to be taken or needed if you wish to double your money. What am I saying here? Please understand. In the first year, you'll get three. In the second year, you'll get three. In the third year, you'll get three. And this is how you'll keep getting three, 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 three. And my money will be considered double as soon as I convert this entire sum of these interests equal to the principal invested. That is the moment when your money is considered to be doubled. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to compare ki kitne saalo mein ye three, 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 three accumulate ho ke 20 ke equal ho jayega. Tab mera paisa double consider kiya jayega. I hope this question makes a lot of sense in your brain and you have gotten a lot of clarity on simple interest. Well, for more practice, you can log on to our website and you can contact the concerned authorities and they'll guide you more. With that, I hope you have understood it better. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone.